Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. It seems like no matter where I am in my shop, my garage, my basement, I'm always looking for a roll of paper toweling. I bought these at Menards, and you can get them at the wholesale club, like 20 of them for like $15. They come in white or blue. Really doesn't matter the color, they all perform about the same. So in the shop, I have one paper towel rack, and it's way on the opposite side of wherever I need it. It's never in the right place. So I always wanted to add some more paper towel rack holders in the shop. Maybe one by my lathe, one by the mill, one by the bandsaw. But I never really had the time. And recently a friend of mine came over and he dropped off these uh, towel racks. And these were towel racks. He remodeled his, his bathroom. Two towel racks of different sizes and a toilet paper rack holder. So with all the parts here, I figured I could make three racks for paper toweling. So if you take a look at this, a roll of paper towel is 11 inches. So all I need is three bars 11 inches long. End pieces are just screwed on to the, the base here with like a deck screw. This one I already took apart and it was just a little glue holding it on there. I just sanded it on my belt sander, kind of removed some of that glue so it slides on and off. So I'm going to take the rest of these apart, cut them up, and then reassemble them, and then find some locations for them. I'm at the rigid sliding compound miter saw here, and I laid out the center line of the long rod and the long base. I'm going to cut each of these in half. The nice thing about this saw is it has a laser light, so I can line this up the best I can by eye. But when I turn on the saw, the laser line will show a red line on there, and I can do my final adjustment. Keeping my fingers out of the way, it's going to get loud. The saw splintered the wood a little bit, so I'll take both ends to the belt sander and smooth that over. But first I'm going to cut the base. This is a longer base, it's 30 inches. I'm cutting it 15 inches right in half. And with this we should be able to make two racks out of. little chipping out there not bad off camera I'm gonna take it to the belt sander and we'll start assembling back at the bench I laid out and centered the rack on a piece I just cut in half the shorter piece that was a toilet paper rack is not going to be used I'll just set that aside for some future project along with the the bar from the paper towel rack. What I really wanted was the end plates. With six end plates, I can make three racks. I'll set these aside. I found the center, top to bottom, and made two little marks. I'll drill and countersink in the center of that line, and I equally spaced it from both edges. I did that on both pieces, and this is the one that was a longer bar that I cut in half at the chop saw. I'm going to use this bit that has a drill and a countersink, so I will countersink for the heads all in one operation. Just mark, just find the center of that. I'm going to use the same screws over. And that should fit in there real nice. I'll do the rest of them. Using the same screw, all I have to do is reassemble these. I'm just going to let the screw stick out a little bit. Line it up with the previous hole and screw it down tight. Shifted sideways a little bit. I use my combination square. Get a little 
little straighter there. I'll do that to the rest of them. So the longer rack, I cut in half. The short toilet paper rack, I discarded, but I kept the end pieces. And this was a medium rack, and I didn't cut it to length yet. I might in the future. But I have this magnetic toolbar I got free at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has those coupons in the paper or in the flyers and a circular online that you get all the time. And this is a magnetic toolbar. And this is my little tray I made a while ago. It's a bakery pan. And this is my project cart. It's on wheels. So I can move it to my lathe, to the welder, to the drill press, to the bench. Keep all the tools and all the parts on this. And I thought, well, it'd be really nice to have a paper towel rack. With this being steel, I'm going to stick one right on here. And that is not going to come off. So now, wherever my projects are, I have a paper towel rack. The second rack I'm placing behind my mill on the wall here. So when I'm getting in any of my tooling from my mill, I have my RE collets in here and some other tooling. When I put it away, I can clean it with a piece of paper toweling. So that will be a nice welcome addition. The third rack, I had the magnets from Menards that the spring clamps came on. Remove them, I used the same screws that came with it, screwed the magnets through the wood into the sides. And that will keep right here on my workbench. This is where I do my assembly, my workbench, and it'll always be nice to have a paper towel rack real handy. The only cost of this project was the magnets that I'm using right here on the bench, and these are optional. I could have waited until I get some more from Harbor Freight. Next time I go buy one, I use a coupon. This video is dedicated to my friend Kevin, who gave me the two towel racks and a toilet paper holder. He knows I like to take stuff and repurpose it into other things. A wise man once said, keep your friends close. But I like to say, keep your friends close and keep your friends who give you stuff to repurpose even closer. So thank you, Kevin. This is MKA Gadgets. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends. I hope you enjoyed this project.